Hi guys, welcome to this video about which Mirabox capture card you will have to buy. So there are actually a few different ones and I don't know, I have knowledge about these ones, but I have some knowledge about this one for 99 and this one for 79. Actually, I've bought this one as you can see so this looks a little bit different the setting here what you have you have three plugs basically you have an HDMI in HDMI out and a USB and with the one for 79 you only have an HDMI in and USB out. So what does it mean at the end with the one for 79? Um, as it looks, it, there is no difference in speed, quality or anything like that. It just does not have this lag-free HDMI output. So the question is then only, do you need a lag-free HDMI output? Um, we have been uh, setting up the system like this thing here. So my son has actually a Nintendo Switch and we put the HDMI here and the HDMI from here to the screen. And there's another connection, of course, uh, with USB 3.0 to the PC where we have the OBS running and from the PC there's another cable um, there's not HDMI I think it's a uh, uh, country member PCI I, I, uh, no it's not PCI um, can't remember really the name of the connection but anyway there's another connection so to the same screen so there's the one connection here the lag free hdmi to the same screen as from the pc actually or one time uh yeah that was actually i'm sorry for that yeah i mean we have the connection here but he also has a second or a third screen and we put this signal on the side or in the middle and this signal on the side so we had the opportunity to compare these two signals the lag free uh, direct uh, HDMI, HDMI loop out and the thing which goes to OBS and then to a screen. It was really side by side and at the beginning there were some lags here through OBS but here has improved the settings. You can work really with the uh, rate, I mean frame rate, with resolution, with everything. If you optimize all these things you will uh, r almost see an identical picture. I mean, I haven't been able to see any difference. I mean, not in quality and not time-wise, no, nothing. So for me, it would be, it, it, it means you could actually save these $20 and go with this card and use really the picture from OBS which you are directly streaming you can really work with that I mean maybe as a pro gamer you will see some kind of difference probably I mean I haven't been able to see anything after optimizing everything maybe it would be possible but definitely uh, it's it's not really noticeable and I think for 99% of all the people this uh, capture card will be enough I mean this thing is just some kind of extra luxury convenience uh, fancy fun whatever but actually based on my experience 
uh, not needed so that's it. it was a short video hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time